Hey, what's up guys? I'm standing here at the grounds of Mission San Gabriel, one of the missions in Southern California. It was established in 1771 and one of the, old, one of the oldest missions in the States. So let's go and explore the history behind this mission. In August 1771, a Portola expedition encountered the armed Tongya Indians on the banks of the Santa Ana River. One month later, Mission San Gabriel was founded, fourth in the chain of missions on September 8, 1771, by Father Junipero Serra, near what will become the sprawling metropolis of Los Angeles. Named for the Archangel Gabriel, the mission stands as a reminder of how earthquakes can affect the California missions. The earthquakes of 1804 and 1812 damaged the mission complex. Then a powerful tremor in 1987 prompted a major restoration effort to reinforce the entire mission church. It served as a trade center positioned at the crossroads of three important trails. Like its three predecessors, Mission San Gabriel was forced to move from its original site. In 1776, a flash flood destroyed much of the crops and ruined the original mission complex, which was subsequently relocated five miles closer to the mountains in present-day San Gabriel to improve conditions for planting and cultivating the fields. Mission San Gabriel grew to be the pride of the missions. Far more productive than any other missions in California, San Gabriel provided many of the other missions with the necessities of life from its land. Mission San Gabriel is credited with introducing the large-scale viticulture to California. Architecturally, San Gabriel is distinct among the California missions. Father Antonio Cruzado, the designer, was born in Cordova, Spain. His Moorish style is unique and draws directly from the famous Cathedral of Cordova, where the side walls features cap buttresses. Cruzado and his associates finished construction of the church in 1805 using adobe brick and a tiled roof like that of Mission San Antonio. Over 25,000 baptisms were conducted at the San Gabriel between 1771 and 1834, making it the most prolific in the chain of missions. At its peak, the mission received nearly 800 feet in length. The Tongva people from nearby settlements were affected by the practices of the Franciscan missionaries who attempted to eradicate what they perceived as ills with Tongva society through religious indoctrination. Labor, reconstructing of gender structures and violence, which took place at and around the mission. The cemetery of San Gabriel is the oldest in Los Angeles County. Although San Gabriel once furnished food and supplies to a settlement, and other missions throughout California. Although San Gabriel once furnished food and supplies to settlements and other missions throughout California, a majority of the mission structures fell into ruins after it was secularized in November 1834. The once extensive vineyards were falling to decay with fences broken down and animals roaming freely through it. The walls were rebuilt in 1940 using the original foundations. The crucifix was marked as a memorial to the 6,000 Indians buried here. An active Roman Catholic Church today, weddings and other religious services continue to take place at Mission San Gabriel as they did in the early days of California history. 
on October 1, 1987, the Whittier Narrows earthquake damaged the property. A significant portion of the original complex has since been restored. Today, visitors can tour the church, museum, and grounds. The Adobe Museum building was built in 1812 and was originally used for sleeping quarters and book storage. Some of the exhibits include mission relics, books, and religious artifacts. The ground features operation from the original mission complex. Now let's take a walking tour around the mission grounds. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy our tour of the Mission San Gabriel. Until next time, bye! So 
So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!